Previously on Sea Patrol. The bridge is much roomier. We're not all on top of each other. Insurgent groups are active in the area. Drop your weapon! My friends and I would like to thank you for getting us out of there. Canberra is formalising a peacekeeping arrangement with the Samaru government. So we can expect to be back here over the coming months. Right. It's a mini back. Let's get lonely on that island. Wait, are you trying to tell me that she's faking? Put under fire! Repeat under fire! Some days are diamonds, eh? That's an ice boat. Cute. Yep, yeah, it's an ice boat. This is going to be a big catch. What's an ice boat? <laughs> Bomb. What? I'm from Majors. All we did was race, track, and drill. It's the uh, mothership for an illegal fishing fleet. Normally they just sit off the line in international waters where we can't touch them. Shark fins like gold, bomber. Makes them take risks. Give them another warning. Vessel on my port bow. This is Australian warship. You should stop or heave to, or I will open fire on you. You're me on first fighter, buddy up. Watch my back or watch yours. Yes, ma'am. So I put down the machete. So I drop the machete now. Hey, Bobby, Bobby. What's up with they put down their defences, sir. Pull the poles back in! Pull the poles in now! Tell them to maintain a safe distance. X-ray 2, this is Papa 82. Maintain a safe distance. Over. You know, one of those things in a rib, it'll go right through you. Yeah, shish kebab. Get your crew to pull those poles in! Make sure we get plenty of evidence, Swain. Why, right, sir? One well, precise round can take out a steering, sir. That'd make them have a rethink pretty fast. Why stop at their steering? Look, if there's crew below, there could be casualties. Sir, flares? Drop the flare! Put it down, sir! Put the flare in the water! He's coming! Get out! You're up! my leg! Sir, we're coming up on the line. What? He crosses international waters, he gets away? No, that's why we've got evidence of him committing an offence in our territory. So they got porcupine out, they got machetes and flares. Tell X to abandon the boarding. Today's not our day. X-ray A2, this is Papa A2. Abort, abort, abort. This is X-ray A2, Roger that out. Let's go! Indeed, may be called a heaven-born captain. Sorry, sir? Old Chinese saying. I just reckon he's one lucky son of a gun. Maybe. At least for now. Yeah, booked a cab. You? Yeah. I thought I'm... Excuse me. Going anywhere interesting? Just dinner. Me too. I thought I might catch a movie. 
Oh, this must be your cab. You look nice. Thank you. You too. McGregor. Hawkins for McGregor. Oh. Jim? Kate. Pleased to meet you. I'm sorry I'm late. You're not. You look lovely. Please. Thank you. I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty in ordering some bubbles. Oh, that's great. I wasn't sure you'd come. <laughs> well, you didn't sound like an axe murderer on the phone. <laughs> They teach you that in human resources, do they? Oh, that's why they call it resources. <laughs> it's funny. What? You just don't strike me as the type. Well, you don't strike me as a chartered accountant. But looks can be deceptive. In a good way. Yeah. You looking at me? Yeah, everything De Niro does He's is... He's a genius. Except oh, Rocky, Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> Fearless leaders are always hard to pull off. And what's that? It's a line from the film. Oh, I didn't quite make it through to the end. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's beautiful. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's good. I'm sorry I have to take this. Jim Roth. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm sorry. Jim Roth. Mike Flynn. No, Commander, not interrupting anything. I see. Understand. Sure. Right. Unavoidable. Yes, sir. Send that through. Sorry. Half an hour. Work. Work? You're an accountant? Yeah. Look, I'm going to have to go. Excuse me? I have to go. You make me wait for half an hour and you have to go? Look, I've had a great night. Oh, good on you. I hope we can do it again sometime. Yeah, right. Thanks for dinner. Kate McGregor? Yeah, Kate, it's Mike. Bad news, I'm afraid. Good morning. Good morning. So the Wollongong has done a turbo and we drew the short straw. Yeah, something like that. Cancelled leaves always hard on the crew. Harder on some than others. How was dinner? It was very pleasant, thank you. Okay. And your movie? I didn't make it. Oh. Got caught up in a good book. Oh. So where's this SAS training team we're supposed to be transporting? Oh, some of them are here. The rest wouldn't be far behind. They didn't look that tough. Mate, they're SAS. They could kill you with a pencil. Really? really? Huh? Cool. We've done the intros buffer. Give them a quick tour, you know the drill. Hi, right, sir. This way, fellas. Welcome to Hemsley, gentlemen. Delighted to be here, Commander. This is my executive officer, Kate McGregor. Kate. Hi. It's a real pleasure. E.T. reckons those SAS dudes can kill you with a pencil. They use it to write down their innermost thoughts, then make you read it. 
No, only joking. They're good operators. More importantly, mate, I've spoken to the XO about your promotion. Yeah, yeah. She's taking it to the boss for consideration. OK, what does that mean? Considering your performance of late, I'd say you're a shoe-in for April soon. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Buff. Yeah, all right, don't thank me. Just keep up the good work. <laughs> and, boss? Sir? What's this? LCD TV. I can see that. Where'd it come from? It came on board with all the SAS gear. And why would the SAS need a large screen TV? Training courses. Well, I thought it might have just said LCD on the box, sir, but really being some, like, high-tech classified electronic gear or something. Obviously not. Yeah, that, um... That came with it. It's a letter from Ray Walsman. From who? Ray Walsman, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for um, helping out his daughter. How good is this, boss? Nice try, guys. It's going back. Boss. Boss. He'll know. Do I need to send you to a defence ethics refresher course? We do not accept gifts. And have it stored someplace. It's taking up half the mess. <laughs> yes, boss. Lower! Raise! Lower! Oh! Lower! Raise! It's like my sister's hands now. But better. <laughs> Could you all be a little less obvious? Oh, X, come on! Lower! Oh! Captain! Lieutenant? Uh, I was hoping we could grab a coffee when you have a moment to run through a few things. Uh, now is clearly a bad time. It's never a bad time for you, Kate. Uh... Thorn, take over. Lower! Three! Four! Three! Four! So human resources. Very convincing, by the way. As a matter of fact, my job has a lot to do with human resources. <laughs> so we're going to have that coffee? No. So there was another lie? Don't push the luck. My luck changed when I saw you on this ship. Yeah, I know you mention it. You didn't look surprised at all. Excuse me. Jim, we should have you in San Marino on schedule. That's good. Thank you, sir. Latest intel suggests that the situation on the ground there is more stable. Oh, that's in the capital. Insurgents are regrouping in the hills. We're there at the request of the government to train their local forces. Of course. Well, the last thing we or the French want to appear is colonialists. French? Well, the French are sending a peacekeeping force to protect their economic interests. You have been briefed on all this. We were crash sailed. Right. Well, I'm sure you'll bump into each other. No doubt. In the meantime, you've got everything you need? Absolutely, sir. Very good. Matter of fact, Kate was just about to shout me a coffee. You know, maybe some other time. You two know each other? No. Although you do remind me of a girl I once met in HR. Uncanny. Funny. You don't remind me of anyone. Excuse me, boss. Now it's got a suspected FFE on the scope. She said to tell you that it's a big one. Check it likes back again. Make yourself at home. So. What have we got, Papa? All right, boss. Let's see all these markings down aft. Well, they're the brackets for the porcupine spikes. Is that him? Oh, yeah, that's him. Anything from Radar Neff? No, sir. He'd have no idea we're here. Good. Let's keep it that way. Come to slow ahead. Slow ahead, both engines. Slow ahead, both engines. What are you planning? Both engines slow, man. Very good. The minute he sees us, he'll run out those defences again, and we won't be able to touch him. But if we hang back until dark... Mav, what's the moon state tonight? Uh, new moon, sir. New moon? Gotta get lucky sometimes. So we wait until dark, approach without lights. By the time he knows we're there, we'll be on top of him. He'll be out. Oh, what about the SAS, sir? What about them? Uh, well, they're expecting to arrive in Samaru on schedule, sir. Oh, I'm sure a slight delay in the interest of border security won't be a problem. Besides, they're guests on my ship. Um, sir, if you have a moment. There is something else that I'd like to discuss with you. Go mm. ahead. I have met Captain Roth before. He was my date last night. It was an internet thing. Um, and get this, he lied on his profile and he said that he was an accountant. And you said you were in human resources? 
Well, yeah. Well, why are you telling me this, Ex? Well, because the night ended rather badly and there is some residual tension there and I thought that you should know about it. Well, by badly? What do you mean? Did... Oh, no, nothing like that. It, it's just that he kept getting phone calls. Of course, I, I realise why now, but I didn't then and so I did my block at him. But it was a one-off thing and I've, I've already moved on. Right. Well, we shouldn't have a problem then. No. <laughs> Excuse me, Lieutenant Commander. We seem to have slowed down. Yeah, we have. Is there a problem, sir? No. Actually, we've had a stroke of good fortune. Sir? An ice boat. You can see it on the EOD. So we're... Waiting for dark. We need the element of surprise. I'm sorry, sir, but no, we're not. I beg your pardon? My men and I need to be in Samaru, ASAP. Captain, taking out this ice boat will cause real pain to the illegal fishing industry. I'm afraid I don't care, sir. Well, I do. They're fish. You've been tasked to deliver us to Samaru. Which will happen in good time. No, sir. With respect, sir, it will happen ASAP. Well, your position has been noted. Thank you. Now, please leave my bridge. Excuse me, sir. Hammersley, Lieutenant McGregor speaking. Buffer. Would you mind escorting Captain Roth from the bridge, please? Aye, oh, sir. Uh, yes, sir, they are both here, Buffer. Sir, it's Commander Marshall on the phone for you. Mike Flynn. Well, sir, an opportunity to capture a nice boat presented itself and... No, sir. No problem interpreting your order whatsoever. Yes, sir. Full speed to Samaru Island. Boss. One surgical shot. It's all to take. Forget it, Buffer. Yes, sir. So have we made up for lost time? Almost. Mm. Good. So we're back on track then. Over the lift. Captain. And uh, better luck next time with that ice boat. Lieutenant Commander Flynn, I am Capitan de Fregat Josephine Durand. Welcome to the Samaru Islands. Thank you, ma'am. Please, call me Josephine. And uh, may I call you Matt? Yes, of course. Do you have everything you require? Yes, yes we do. Thank you. Bon. So, this is your Armadale class patrol boat. Yes, it is. Mm, impressive. Well, if you'd like the guided tour, I... Unfortunately, my time is not my own. But you and your crew will be at the reception tonight at the consulate? Oui? Oui, yes. Thank you. I will look forward to spending more time with you then. Surgeons. Or really bad drivers. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander Flynn, this is the Interior Minister, Mr. Lawrence Seattle. Welcome back to Samaru, Lieutenant Commander. You have a beautiful country. It's a pleasure to visit. 
Excuse me. Of course. There have been reports of a firefight in the hills. How accurate, we do not know. Today? Oui. Tell me, Mike, are you a family man? I beg your pardon? Do you have a wife? Children? No. Huh? Then you are married to the Navy. Like me? Well, I wouldn't go that far. But it can be a lonely life, though. At times. At times. Salute. Cheers. Okay, mate. Uh, just one light beer, please. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. It's called Boba. Uh, beer, light, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> civil plight, please. Je suis fier de mon cul quand je vois ta gueule. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't speak English. You reckon? Fais pas chier, bon hein. Ouais, t'as cassé. Now get the man a beer and one for me, we'll see. Oui, madame. You speak French. Just high school, but enough to know what he was saying. And which was? Voilà. Don't worry about it. Merci. Uh, what was he saying? He's rubbish full of himself. What, like how frogs are better than Aussies? Yeah, sort of. So I need to teach that guy some manners? Oh, yeah, and you'd be just the man to do that. Huh? Hmm. Don't get any dumb ideas. Go, 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 go. See you, what, what, Where are you going? Shh. this was going back. Um, he did. But he also said to get it out of the way and the most efficient use of space was to bring it up on the bulkhead. Well, just as long as you're happy to put it all back when the time comes. Yeah, it's But what about the cocktail party? Oh, that was a fizzer. A fizzer? Yeah, fizzer. The only one that didn't look like getting like it was the boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. So how did you uh, escape from her? I palmed her off on the buffer. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, Captain, Kate, a lovely surprise. In perfect timing. May I have the pleasure? Sure. Excuse us. Mike, I'd be delighted. dry blood on your neck. Oh, it's OK. It's not mine. <laughs> I cut myself shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do I scare you, Mike? No, of course not. I have seen enough of life to know that we must make each moment count. Absolutely. And the time we waste, we never get back. Seize the day. Oui. I wouldn't have thought dancing would be your style. Well, you've got to mix it up a bit. Read the lie of the land. <laughs> when I was a young woman, I had a, how would you say, a, a maladie de coeur, a disease of the art. I survived, but many did not. Life is for living, Mike. Yes. But to really live takes great courage. It's <laughs> nice to see that smile. No, don't read anything into it. So I'm still in trouble, am I? Thank you, sir. Harbour Master's requesting that we expedite our departure ASAP. They do have a grain ship that's waiting for our berth. Tell them we'll do what we can. Yes, sir. Thanks, Nev. Where's the ex? Um, she's not on board, sir. 
Where is she? She said she had to go ashore to finalise some accounts. Accounts? Uh, boss? <laughs> Could you be a little less obvious? And thank you for this. Well, it's just something to remind you of me. Little Jim. <laughs> Little Jim. XO, <laughs> you're delaying our departure. Uh, sir, we weren't scheduled to Change leave. Change of plans. But... Make ready for sale. Yes, sir. Look, I'm sorry, sir. That's completely my fault. We've all got our jobs to do. Let's just get them done, Captain. So, the X and the SAS, Captain? Yes, mate, that is the word. What is that? Crocker, monsieur. Crocker what? Ham and cheese toast and singers. Oh, all right. So, the boss and a lay frog? They dance, that's uh, all. Uh, buff, sorry, I heard he got the second base. No way. That's what I heard. Buffar. Well, if you guys are going to skive off and miss all the action, that's the price you pay. See, that means he did. Here's the joke, Charge. They give us this big lecture about behaving ourselves whilst they're both off going for it. No one said the world was fair, E.T. Yeah, well, no one was wrong, Charge. Touchy. You almost missed the bus, X. Technically, sir, uh, I wasn't late. Well, technically, I don't give a rat. What were you doing? I, uh, I went to settle some accounts. Oh, with your old mate, the accountant? We took on some fresh fruit and vegetables, and so I went to pay the suppliers. And you just happened to bump into Captain Roth? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did, and he offered me a lift, which is fortunate as things turned out, don't you think? Sir? Uh, it's Captain De Frigate Durand. Oh. Josephine. Yes. Uh, no. No, OK, I understand. I'll, uh, I'll look into it and let you know. My apologies. Some idiot nicked a French flag. That guy insulted our country. No, he didn't. What? He said your face made his bum look good. That's not what you told me. I didn't want you to get more upset. Good on you. I'm sorry. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's my prize, and I'm going to keep it. It's quite a where is it? Somebody tell me where it is. It's almost safe. Do you hear there, XO speaking? It's been brought to our attention that a French flag went missing from the consulate last night. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hear that? I'm a hero. This is nothing to be proud of. I want the flag placed on the desk in the ship's office in the next 10 minutes and no further action will be taken. Otherwise, the culprit or culprits will be in serious trouble. Your time starts now. Spider, quick, go. No go ahead again. Spider, you're the exit. She has to say that, OK? No one cares about a French flag. Oh, Don't worry about it. It'll go away. Your funeral. No flag, sir. We've done a search of the boat. I uh, need permission to conduct a locker search. OK. You know, maybe our guys are innocent. I'd like to believe that, X. Do you? No, but maybe they were smart enough not to bring it on board. Well, somehow I doubt that as well. Listen, hold off on the locker search. Maybe this will blow over. OK. You know the crew are having a field day with your liaison, Captain Roth? Really? I've heard more circulating rumours about you and the Captain de Frigard, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Just a dance. Huh. But you, on the other no, hand... No, you have no right to be... Oh, come no, it's okay. my private life. You and your private discussing... life is my business when it impacts on your ability to perform on this ship. You got a comment? No. It's just that there's... Go on. Being a fearless leader is always hard to pull off, sir. What's that supposed to mean? So we've picked up a suspected FFE on our radar. In international waters? No, it's on our side of the line. Right. Send the ship to boarding station. Yes, sir. 
Good day, Bava. Hey, Buff, you know this guy? Busted him a couple of times, ex. How you travelling, Buff? Better than you, mate. This your wife? She's pretty. Thank you. Tom, don't be cheeky. You're a long way from home, mate. So where are you taking this lot? That's for me to know, Buff. If I had your record, I'd be trying to score as many brownie points as I can to impress the magistrate. Are you sure he understands what he's saying? Ex, he speaks five different languages. English is probably his worst, but I reckon if he spent a little bit more time on his personal hygiene, he could be a UN translator. Is Buffer sure of this guy's information? As sure as he can be, sir. An ice boat rendezvous with those coordinates places them in our waters. Uh, we asked him if this was the ice boat that used the porcupine defences. Eh? He said he hadn't heard of it. But uh, I'm not convinced. I think you're right, X. It's less risk for him if he gives us a boat that he knows this has an escape strategy. Exactly. So what do you want to do? We modify our tactics. Rotting shark fin, what do you expect? Breathe through your mouth. I am. <laughs> I reckon he's more scared of the boys in the ice boat than us. Yeah, I don't know. Caught in a vicious circle, aren't you, Tom? When we throw you in jail, your masters look after your wife and kids, so you owe them. And when you get out and you get deported, it starts all over again. I spot. Tom with us. This is a shark boat with our people. This is the ice boat approaching on schedule and the ribs here below their horizon. How far off are we? Six miles. Well, let's see if we can get anything on the yard. Okay. Be ready, Charge. We're gonna need everything she's got. X-ray 2, Bravo 82, over. This is X-ray 82. It's definitely our mate, the porcupine, over. Roger, when you board, call on deck. We'll be there ASAP, over. Yeah, Roger that, out. You call your board now, they come here. No, that's not the plan, Tom. That's the plan. We call your board now. That's all right, calm down. No, they cannot help you. They won't, Tom. Trust me. No, you call your boat now. Mate, we call our boat now. They stick out those poles and we can't touch them, right? Get him, E.T. Down up! Down up! What the hell? Down up! Down up! He's trying to warn his mates so they can get away. Mom, <laughs> oh. 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 not turning around. All right, they're going to ram us. Let's get him inside, E.T. Yeah. E. Bravo A2, they're attempting to ram us on the port side, over. Come on, Buff! Come on! The shark boat's changing course away from the ice boat. Something's wrong. Get the rib in there. X-ray A2, this is... Part 82. X, we need you to move in Up now. Both Over. engines, revolutions 1400. Zero, zero. Both engines, revolutions 1400. Zero, zero. XO, I can out turn him, but I cannot outrun him. If you guys would hurry up, it would be greatly appreciated. Over. We're coming as fast as we can, Bravo A2. You'll have to keep him busy for another five. Over. Yeah, roger that. I'll do my best. Fire! Agent Mayor's Hammers. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Commander Marshall. 
Sir, I've just had a call from some pin pusher in Canberra who's just copped an earful from the French consul in Samaru. Yes, sir, I'm in the yes. middle. What? He wants his flag back. <laughs> Now, make this go away, Mike. Understood? Yes, sir. And flog the moron who took it. Understood, sir. Sir? How close is the rip? No, it's still minutes away, sir. No, they're goners. It's still! Bomb if that spread is gonna go everywhere, we'll be gone! Now. Oh. Bravo A2, this is Charlie A2. Yeah, great to hear your voice, boss. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Buffer, it's time for a graunch boarding. Sir? A graunch boarding. Turn the tables on them, take them by surprise. Over. Sir, isn't that against regulations? Only when it involves one of our boats. Tell me he didn't say graunch! I think he did, ma'am. Ah. Sir, you are a madman. It's a pleasure to serve under you. Wish us luck. Over. Team, stand by. We're going to board directly from this vessel. Brace for a collision. Broken leg, sir. Manage his pain, treat him with courtesy. Yes, sir. Good work, Spider. Thank you, sir. Saved my bacon out there today, sir. I heard. The ex has been singing your praises lately. Yes, sir. Your actions today have helped me make up my mind. What is that god-awful smell? Uh, it's just shark fin, sir. Have a shower, get changed. Report to me on the bridge. Thank you, sir. I'll be right back. He's really stepping up on us. What's going on? Uh, someone must have bumped us, sir. Uh, uh, subwoofer. <laughs> I reckon it must have shook the whole boat. I want that taken down now. Now! What's that, sorry? Judge, you want to? Yeah. I want an answer. Who took it? Who took it? It was me, boss. Captain's table. 1400. That's your defense, is it? You wanted to get the French back for calling you names. Yes, sir. 
Just uh, thought it would have been a bit of a joke, you know? I didn't think that... No, you didn't think. And when you had a chance to return it, you didn't think then either. No, sir. The flag's going back, along with two letters of apology. One from me, on behalf of every sailor on this ship, and one from you, expressing your deep regret and contrition. And it better be convincing, understood? Yes, sir. In regards to punishment, I'm taking into account your previous good record and your courageous actions today. Thank you, sir. That's much appreciated. Look, I haven't finished, Seaman Webb. This incident will be recorded on your service record and may come back to haunt you. And as for your promotion, I cannot recommend that at this time. Dismissed. Seaman Webb. Hope. On cap. Salute. Right turn. Quick march. Buff, I've already emailed the old about the promotion, okay? How am I gonna tell them that it's not happening? Just tell them the truth. Well, that I'm a thief. Then in the heat of the moment, you made an error of judgment. Buff, I never thought anyone would even notice. You know, they had them hanging all over the place. Well, it's a pretty powerful symbol, the flag. We rally around it, we celebrate with it, we fight under it, we cover our dead heroes with it. Yeah. And you put it like that. Look, what's done is done. What you're gonna do is work doubly hard and work your butt off. Yes, Buff. You know what the real tragedy is, don't you? Having to send this baby back. Breaking my heart. Me too, Buff. Kate? Yeah? I hear you disapproved of my call for a grunt boarding. Do you mind? Sure. Yeah. It was a high-risk decision. We modified our tactics and we succeeded. But I was only minutes away in the room. A lot can happen in minutes, X. Yeah, look, I agree, but I, I just... Go on. You put our crew in harm's way, sir. No one was injured. Through good luck and good training. Oh, come on, Kate. Who dares wins? Now, I'm sure you've heard that by now. Yeah. It's the SAS motto, sir. Yeah, that's right, it is. And I would have thought that would have been right up your alley. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you denying me any opportunity to move on from you? Look, okay, Kate, I'm sorry. That was out of line. It's just that... Uh, sometimes we find ourselves facing circumstances that are beyond our control. And in such situations, a person has to seize the moment. Don't you agree? I think leadership takes courage. I think a lot of things do. That's all. Misjudgment or misconduct. Drug screen can make it positive. It'll mean his career. What happened on a big night out on the town? No drowning, sir. That's what I was wearing that night. It's not my blood. Sea Patrol 2, next Monday. Missed an episode of Sea Patrol? Just go to 9msn.com.au forward slash Sea Patrol to download the action.